Welcome to SmartNet Total Care Training for existing SNTC users. In this training, we will provide a quick start tour of the new SmartNet Total Care user interface that is replacing the existing SNTC portal. This training is intended for people who are familiar with the existing SNTC portal. If you are new to SmartNet Total Care, we have prepared other materials to introduce you to the service. Let's get started. You are already familiar with how SNTC gathers information about Cisco devices and uploads that data securely to Cisco's data center, where it is matched with Cisco's contract and alert information and then displayed in the SNTC portal. Rest assured, all of the primary data sets you have come to expect from SmartNet Total Care are still available. In fact, the part of the service that gathers and collates the data is not changing as part of this migration to a new user interface. We are continually evaluating and improving the data collection process, but that is not the focus of this change to the service. The focus of this release is the new user interface for reporting the data collected. You will see information for devices that are in the inventory, not covered by service, or impacted by product alerts, just as you always have. And you can see summaries in pie charts, bar charts, and other formats. What is changed and improved is how this data is presented on the screen and how flexible it is to customize the reports. To sum up the biggest difference, in the existing portal, to manipulate the data in tables, you request a report that is delivered to you in Excel format. You download the report and then use Excel to sort and select the data. In the new user interface, you have extensive sorting and selection features built into a table view right in the interface. You can still download the data to an Excel file if you wish, as we will see later in this presentation. But before we take a closer look at the new SNTC user interface, let's pause for a moment. What is the benefit to you? First, as discussed, the data is now available in table format with full filtering capabilities without requesting and saving Excel files. Second, this platform provides the next generation facilities needed to provide the new SmartNet Total Care features you are requesting and we want to provide. Let's compare some features between the existing SNTC portal and the new SNTC interface. This is a sample screenshot from the new SNTC interface. Along the left, it contains a navigation pane for accessing reports and dashboards, which are groups of reports displayed in the content area. The SNTC interface is reached through the Smart Services Connection window. In your current view of the SNTC portal, you are familiar with seeing this header at the top of the screen. This tells you that you are viewing the SNTC portal and you have convenient buttons for logging out and getting help. The banner in the new interface is very similar. Next to the welcome line is the name of the current user. Click log out to exit the window. Several online help files have been included to show you how to use the interface generally. To view these videos, click the help drop down menu and choose how to. This will take you to links to short instructional videos that will guide you through the basic use of the dashboards, reports, and views available in this new user interface. There may be some differences in how the help videos portray the screens and the version of the interface you are currently using, but they are still helpful for a general tour. The upper left of the navigation panel shows the Cisco service currently being displayed. Click the pencil icon to make changes. This line shows you the entitled company for the data displayed. You are familiar with selecting the entitled company from this dialog that appears when you click any of the pods to see inventory data. Now you will select the entitled company by making choices in this dialog box. This tab shows you the inventories and segments available for this entitled company depending on your user access setting. You are familiar with seeing the inventory choice in this dialog along with the entitled company. Now you make this choice in this dialog. Segments are a new feature in SNTC and there is a video covering this topic on the useful links page. The left side of the screen is a navigation pane allowing you to control what appears in the content pane, the main area of the screen where data is displayed. 
At the top of the navigation pane are several choices that don't parallel the earlier portal directly, but you will recognize my reports. You are familiar with seeing my reports. It is the place where you retrieve reports you request for export. Now, you will click the My Reports link in the navigation pane to see the list of reports you have requested. Click this link for the report. The report will be downloaded to your system and a notification will be visible in your browser when the download is complete. This notification varies according to the browser you use, but the interface uses the standard download feature of your browser. We have made the point that SNTC data is visible in a flexible table view right in the new SNTC interface, but we know that our customers have built business processes around the existing reports. You can use My Reports to download the reports you have been requesting and gradually transition to a new workflow using the new SNTC interface. In the new interface, dashboards are groups of reports. Let's take a quick tour of how the dashboards are displayed. You are familiar with the dashboard in the current portal. Pods of information can be arranged on the screen, one or two at a time, so you can have some flexibility on what you see. In the new interface, the dashboard capabilities are much more extensive, flexible, and powerful. You can drag multiple reports into the content area and save those configurations as customized dashboards. We encourage you to access the instructional video in the Help System to learn more about configuring and deploying dashboards. This set of links in the navigation pane is for working with dashboards. For example, this dashboard, called Contract Management, is showing four report panes in the content area. All contracts, equipment coverage, equipment with expiring coverage in 30 days, and equipment with overdue coverage. Click the Grow box for any report to expand that report so it fills the content area. Next, let's turn our attention to how reports are accessed and viewed. Below the dashboard is the Library section of the Navigation pane. Let's scroll the Navigation pane so we can see more of the Library section. In the Library, there is one-click access to the reports you use the most. For example, to see the Last Day of Support report, click this link. The data will appear in the content area, where, in the existing version of the portal, you would first download the data and open an Excel file. Now you have more immediate and flexible access to the data. Let's zoom in for a closer look. For example, you can sort the data on column headings, such as IP address, or sort the data on the product ID column. Use the filter fields to filter the table according to one or more criteria for one or more column headings. There is a filter field for each column heading. For example, you can click a filter field and see a filter panel for that column, which will provide choices appropriate to that column. In this example, we sort on a date range. The data meeting that criteria is displayed in the content area. In the same manner, you can access other reports, including devices with alerts, devices that are covered, and devices that are not covered by service. Reports in the new interface are not always named with the same label as in the existing portal, but the data you are used to seeing is still available by a different label in some cases. For each of these reports, you can scroll to the right to see more columns. More columns are visible in the content area. And you can use the Export drop-down menu to export data in the PDF, CSV, and Excel formats to your local hard drive. Please click the Help icon where available to get more detailed instructions on how to use the reports. And scroll back up to useful links for how-to videos and links to other support options. In this presentation, we have just scratched the surface of the new SNTC user interface. We look forward to working with our customers to share the new features and capabilities of the SNTC interface. Thank you for viewing this presentation.